how I feel As long as I'm breathing, oh yes I'm breathing I'll bless the Lord As long as I'm breathing, oh yes I'm breathing I'll bless the Lord Father have your way in this place You be glorified in it all Come on let's raise it together, say I will bless the Lord at all times And His praises and his shall continue leaping No matter what I see, no matter what I see as long as I'm breathing, as long as I'm breathing, oh yes I'm breathing, I'll bless the Lord. As long as I'm breathing, hey, oh yes I'm breathing, I'll bless. Come on, say, oh magnify, oh magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name. That's the reason why we're here tonight. Let's lay down our cries. It personifies 
the mantle of wisdom, and it esteems its character as if it's an individual. Then comes the transition. Y'all ready for it? The chapter starts to lay out the do's and the don'ts, or the do's and the do nots, like, you know, the have and the have nots, Tyler Perry, that might be the next series, never mind, never mind, I digress. The thing is that, that the one thing that got me was smack down in the middle of all of this, here drops the line, but the path of the righteous is just, the, the path of the righteous is a shining light, shining more and more unto that perfect day. The NSAB Bible says, but the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn that keeps on shining until the full day has, has been met. So now, let's talk first about transition. Not to take you back to school, but we already know what the conjunctions are. But and if. So but, it starts off with, is the, is, is the conjunction that shifts gears from or brings contrast from what was said earlier to what's being said now. So here we see Solomon outlining the issues and the pitfalls of the wicked. And then he switches it up and said, but the path. So let's talk about this. The path of the just. We all know that the just signifies the righteous one, those that are in right standing with God. It signifies the good man, if you will. It signifies the believer, and it signifies the followers of Christ, those that are keepers of the command. But this path, I, I looked at this, and I was like, so if the path is shining as light, then is our path light? So the path is the way the route that you take, the direction in which you move, it's your course of action or the trajectory, if you will. The, the path is what keeps you steady, okay? So here we see that the contrast is between two paths. If you go back a little bit, verse 14 warns us, do not enter into the path of the wicked. So listen, we have, we know that in this life we're gonna have choices, and based on the choices that we make, there are consequences. And I believe that the wicked conducts themselves one way, but we as a believer or the just man, we conduct ourselves another way. Why? Well, the Bible enlightens us in Psalm 37 and 23 that the steps of a good man, the righteous and the just, are ordered by the Lord. And also in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, it says that when we acknowledge him, when we trust him, when we follow him, he will direct our path. So listen, this path, the path of the just, which is a shining light and it continues to shine until that perfect day. This light is the radiance or the gleam that sets our path apart from darkness. It's like dawn. Your word is a light unto my feet and a lamp unto my path. This shining light is the break of day that rises till it gets the full sun, S-U-N, which represents the sun, the S-O-N. It's the dawn of day. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? This light that we're talking about today is the sun peeking out from the horizon, which symbolizes newness. Catch me. And it transforms everything around you. I came to let you know today that it's the dawn of your new day, and I need you to get excited about it. Now listen, this doesn't mean by any means that you will have no more cloudy days that everything is going to be gravy and good. It doesn't mean that you're not going to fall short of his glory. The truth is, we will still have battles to win. The truth is that we'll still be in the, in the thick of some of the struggle, and even though life has shifted and catapulted us into a new era and a new area, you will still be tried, even at the back door of 2020. But let me tell you something today. I declare that in these last two months, you're going to finish strong. Although you're tempted, you won't give in. And I want, you, I want to admonish you today. Do not allow yourself to get seduced by sin, by ill thinking, or by anything around you because you were forced to do life differently in this season. We are not entertaining the enemy, and we are not intrigued by his shiny gadgets, be it things or people. You have come too far. Come on, somebody just say that out of your own mouth. I have come too far to turn back now. I have come too far to turn back. Now, as a matter of fact, God has brought you this far, and he shall not leave you. You shall not forfeit the eternal promise for the premise of what? The fulfillment of a momentary, a momentary joy, or even a lapse in judgment? No, ma'am. No, sir. 
We are still following God, so shake yourself off. No, for real, shake it off. Hear me today, for you are the children of light, and the divine direction in which you're going, he has propelled you into your dawn. This is the dawn of a new day. Now, while the world has fallen back, God has jumped you forward. Come on, you need to repeat that. Say that about your own mouth. While the world has fallen back, God has jumped you forward. Behold, I will do a new thing. And now, somebody say now. Now it shall spring forth. Catch me if you will. No matter what you've encountered, and no matter what you are going through, despite the election, despite the status of our nation, despite all of the things and the chaos around you, God has transitioned you and you, beloved, have stepped into the dawn of your new day. I need you to declare that on the screen today. I need you to open up your mouth and put it in a comment. Say it out of your mouth. You shall have what you say. Now listen, I told you that I saw this twofold. And it's interesting to me that the position of this scripture was sandwiched in within darkness. Go back and read verses 14 through 19 on your own time. The first picture I saw was a righteous man, clothed in armor, walking a dark, narrow path. It's strange in the sense that only the steps he was to follow were illuminated. I need you to really hear this. I could see trouble, I could see traps, I could see dark figures. However, that individual, that righteous man stayed the course. The more he progressed forward, the more the light grew bigger. And it grew so big that to, to the point of consumption. And so the man became light himself because we are the light of the world. The next picture that I saw, I saw the hand of God as a conductor. The world was his stage and we were his instruments. As the righteous, we are positioned in a world ruled by darkness to dispel darkness. Did you hear what I said? Our main focus is to dispel darkness as the light of the world. And what happens is, God the conductor is bringing each instrument, which are the righteous. Y'all seen a conductor? Y'all seen an orchestra before? He's being the conductor and he's bringing each instrument, which are the righteous, in on or at his own beat to enhance the sound. Believe it or not, your light travels at a sound. That's a science lesson for another time. But I saw all of this, and in the middle of all of this, as I'm seeing it, it just so happens that while God got all this was going on, God was simultaneously directing the whole ensemble. What are you talking about, Stacy? See, this first picture, it speaks to us on an individual level. There's a path that we must follow. There's a choice that we must that we must make. And as we follow the path that is as a shining light, that's when we can be the light of the world. That's when God can utilize us the most. But then the second picture. The second picture is on a universal scale. As I saw this, I saw I, I can see, you know, the world and as we are planted in our different positions, we're dispelling light. Everywhere, everywhere there's a Christian, light is being dispelled. And so we are, we are in the world, but we are not of it. He says, he shall bring forth righteousness as light. This is what I want you to understand. As you walk into the, day, the dawn of your new day, your light stands for something. And in this season, we can no longer try to hide it to make other people comfortable because we're not like them. Let's face it, we're different. And it's okay to be different. I'm glad that I'm different. Be different and shine. Shine bright for Jesus. Don't try dimming your light so you won't stand out. Let your light shine, it was what Matthew said, 516. Let your light shine that men may see your good works and glorify God. See, light is the instrument that, that, that exposes darkness. And God has reset you. He has transitioned you to be the instruments that he utilized in the earth. It's a dawn of a new day. And he has changed the culture of church. There is no more church as usual. There is no more checking in or punching my time clock. 
as the church, it's time for us to rise up. He's given us the platform that even though we're in the world and all the wickedness around us is happening, he placed us smack dab in the middle that we may let our, our light shine so bright that it caused other people to see. And then they want to be illuminated. We're, we are the light of the world. And as the light of the world, we need to make sure that our footing is sure. We need to make sure that we're clothed with the right garments. And we need to make sure that we walk in the path that God has created us to walk in. So I tell you today, in your dawn, rise up and shine. Arise, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is upon you. You have come into the dawn of your new day. So shine bright like a diamond, beloved. This has been your Midday Boost. I am Elder Stacy Liddell. Thank you for joining us at the Worship Center. We hope to see you again soon.